seven miles per gallon Mini Cooper hardtop. All right, guys, we're down here once again in the Man Cave Studio, and I'm going to show you the latest installment on uh, the Hillbilly Deluxe SDX project. My uh, Parma body finally came in, and uh oh, should have ordered the Savage body because this one is just a little bit too small. I've gone ahead and painted it anyways and done it up as a body use for right now. I mean, alright, yeah, it looks alright there, but in the back, I'm going to have to do a lot of trimming around these right here. Especially with that gooseneck in there. I get any flex, I'm going to be rubbing the body pretty hard on it, even with just a single tire. But the gooseneck did turn out well. Now the next project, which I've already stated before, is this bumper is going to get rebuilt with a uh, using this square tube, and that is my phone going crazy, I'm going to be using that square tube to make a heavy weighted bumper because this thing just does not want to stay on the ground when you start yanking it. Um, as far as the original uh, Hillbilly Deluxe body, that one might be going on to the other truck. That way I can, I've already got the uh, hitch hole done and all I gotta do is just build the hitch myself and put another uh, piece of threaded rod up in there. But other than that, uh, excuse the mess inside the studio, it's just when I'm building it's, it's either balls to the wall or nothing at all. So, just like my real truck, it says it's a 3500 with a V10 in it and it's also the SLT. Focus, SLT Lariat. Well, Laramie, excuse me. I'm not a Ford, I'm a Dodge. But, turned out alright. It's just a short little video. Yeah, I still gotta do a little bit of painting under here. I've gotta paint those axle down tubes so the welds don't rust. Gotta run and pick up some black paint for that. But there's a good shot underneath. You can still see the uh, Honcho license plate. Decided not to go sticker crazy on this one too because I wanted it to look more scale. But uh, that's pretty much it. Just giving you guys a short little update on the uh, Hillbilly Deluxe. The next time you, next time you see the Hillbilly Deluxe in action, it should be out rolling on a trail or at least pulling something around, looking pretty cool. This has been another uh, Man Cave Media Production film. I uh, appreciate all you guys uh, watching and liking everything on the builds over on. Uh, RC Sparks forums. I uh, hope you guys get a chance. If you haven't already, go over to rcsparks.com, register for the forum. There's thousands of people there that are just d as diehard in RC as as you can get. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, Till next video.